Welcome to Excel 2010 Statistics video number 10. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Business 210 Excel 2010 Chapter 1, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're in Chapter 1, and before we get into the textbook stuff, I just want to go over percentage change formula and an ending balance rate formula. Now, these are not in the textbook. The textbook just assumes that you know how to do these types of formulas. So I kind of want to go over them, not only the uh, math, but the Excel formulas. So we'll start off with percentage change. Hey, we have a stock. That was the price at the beginning of the year. Here's the price at the end of the year. Now we want to figure out the percentage change. Well, there's a couple ways we could do this. And let's do each way, and we'll figure out which one we like best, and then use it throughout the rest of the class. First thing is let's figure out the amount of the change. It's always equals the end minus the begin. So once we have $5.25, this amount is positive, which means we had an increase. If it was negative, we'd have a decrease. The formula always works. These formulas will always work no matter if they're increases or decreases. All right, so we have a part. We compare it to the original starting begin amount using division, and that will give us our percentage change. So the amount of change divided by our beginning amount. When I hit Enter, we have 21%. Uh, this has been pre-formatted. Now, if it was not, you could just simply come up here and then apply percentage from the drop-down and showing two decimals. Now, we could shorten this. Notice we had to use two cells. We could shorten this by using this formula. We simply do our calculation in the numerator. We have to do this subtraction first, so we put it in parentheses and then divide by the begin. So equals, open parentheses, n minus begin, divided by begin. All right, but really, there's a third and uh, better way. In, it's better in that it is the shortest calculation to make, or a straightforward end divided by begin minus 1. Now, why in the world does that give us percentage change? Well, first, before we see that, let's remind ourselves about fractions, adding and subtracting. We'll have 2 thirds minus 1 third. Now, remember, you can simply add or subtract fractions like this if the denominators are the same. So what do we do? We rewrite it. We put 3 in the bottom, the denominator, and put the addition or subtraction in the numerator. Ah, but what if we were given this right here and had to go backwards? Are we allowed to do that? You betcha. That equal signs means they're equal. So anytime you see subtraction or addition in the numerator, you can break it apart. You can go backwards. So that's going to be the whole trick to understanding why this right here is true. So, and this is kind of like a deductive proof, meaning we're proving that, yes, we know this one's already true, and we'd like to prove that this one is true. So what do we do? We notice, ah, subtraction in the numerator. We simply break it apart. We put the subtraction sign here. Begin in both denominators. N divided by begin minus begin divided by begin. Boom. Got to notice that anything divided by, by itself is 1. 43 divided by 43 is 1. Minus 1 divided by minus 1 is 1. Truck divided by truck is 1. So we can simply replace this with a 1, and there it is. There's our formula. This will be the formula we'll use throughout the cl class when we want percentage change. Hey, the ending divided by beginning minus 1. Notice that one is not formatted. It, these two cells were pre-formatted. This one was not. They both have the same underlying number. This is formatted. This is not. By the way, I have a keyboard shortcut here. If you like it to not see the uh, percentage, uh, you could simply apply the general. We saw how to do this last chapter. Or you could use this keyboard shortcut, Control shift tilde I'm going to Control Z undo. I kind of like that uh, format in there. Now, let's see the ending balance, uh, ending balance rate formula. Now, we want to increase sales by 10%. One way to do this is to simply put 1.1 in a cell and take our begin amount times the 1.1. $1 $110. That is the correct 
ending balance. So what we do is we said, hey, we had some amount in January and we wanted to increase it, like some budget or something, increase it by 10%. So we did that. Now why in the world is that true? Well, let's take a look down here. Let's do it step by step first. What if we just wanted the amount of the change, right? We'd say 100 times the 10% and that give us the amount of the change. We'd simply then add to get 110, our ending balance. But notice, since 10 is equal to this, we can rewrite it. So 100 plus 100 times 10%. Sure enough, that'll give us our ending balance also. But now let's rewrite this. Notice 100 times 1 is still 100, right? So I'm going to put that there. 100 times some number plus 100 times some number. Well, as soon as you see this, you know you have to remember your algebra and remember factoring. You can factor the 100 out. So you're left with, ah, the begin or principal amount on the outside times, in parentheses, 1 plus 10%. Right? And this could further be reduced down to 1.1 or simply this. Now, one very important thing about this right here, either one of these two here, that 1 represents the original begin or start or principal amount plus that, that percentage change, and it could be a decimal or percentage change, and it could be positive or negative. That represents the change. So it's very important when you see 1.1 to re realize 1 represents the starting, beginning amount, and the point whatever represents the uh, change. Now, what if we had 100 times 0.9? That would represent a decrease. Now let's go over here and uh, look at two more examples. Here, we're not given 1.1, but we want to accomplish the same goal. So we have to simulate that 1.1. We would say equals 100, and then times, in open parentheses, 1 plus the percentage change. Remember, 1 represents the original starting amount or principal, and the plus, whatever the change is, represents the uh, percentage change. Similarly, we could have a decrease amount. And let's just do a little, um, show you how we calculated this decrease amount. So we have uh, begin, end, 190. And then our uh, percentage change, if only I could spell. F7 is the keyboard shortcut for spell check. And spell check works in the spreadsheets or in edit mode. All right, so we have a little template right here. I'm going to always put green to let us know that that's where our formula goes. Equals end divided by begin minus 1. All right, that has a uh, no number format. You could see the general up here. If you want to apply a percentage, you could right there. Ah, minus 10%. That's how we calculate it. So of course, we can simply do our formula since we're given percentage change, not a 0.9. Actually, let's do this. Let's. So this was percentage change, the end balance rate would be what? It equals 1 plus the rate of change. And that will always work. This ending balance rate formula, 1 plus, whether this is a positive or negative, it will work. So 0 0.9, right? So if we had, in fact, let's do this two ways. OK, so the first way we'll do percentage change. In fact, I'm going to watch this as a cool trick. I want to um, apply red here. So I'm, that has white font and red fill. So I'm going to come up here to the uh, Copy the Formatting Only button, which is the Format Painter. Notice it's Dancy Dance means it's copy. That little paintbrush means it's the format only. All right, now I'm going to go. just so we have a note here, right? And then our formula for this one would be equals beginning amount times 1 plus, whoops. Notice I forgot the order of operations, because this would be multiplied first 
and then that. But I really want that plus. So I'm going to make sure and do that. And if I had the end uh, ending balance rate, I would simply say beginning amount times the ending balance rate. Boom. All right. Uh, next video, we'll start uh, chapter one formally. Lots of terms, definitions, things like this in this chapter one. All right, see you next video.